Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. Now today we're not exactly taking it a great, a great product from a small company. We're just looking at what seems to be a pretty great product. Um, so if you're like me and you've been social distancing and staying home, um, you might have started to run out of supplies for your hobby in the last like eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks of, of social distancing. Um, and one of the first things I ran out of was my favorite clear sealer for painting. Um, I use a lot of washes and uh, you know, like like mixes and stuff like that when I'm painting. Uh, I very often use um, Citadel's Agrax Earthshade Gloss um, or Null Oil Gloss on metallics and stuff. And, and I make my own washes a lot too with various mediums and it can lead to like some shiny looking results. Uh, even contrast paints, if they go on thick in the recesses can get shiny. And so I tend to, when I'm finished painting, dull coat stuff just to sort of finish it off. Give it a nice seal, especially with metal miniatures like Infinity Miniatures, they don't like, you know, degrade or rub off. Um, and generally just to finish my models. And I've noticed my Canadol coat was getting really low. I even scrounged one actually from Chris at Lords of War Games and Hobbies. Um, flew through it doing contrast paint, paint jobs for my Warhammer Quest minis and was basically out of Del coat. And so uh, my local Michaels reopened just recently. They've had, we're into phase one reopening here in Ontario. And so I was able to actually go and see if they had any touch of coat in the rack and they didn't. But I noticed something about the Del coat and it was that uh, it is made by testers, uh, but the bottom here also says it's made by Rust-Oleum Corporation. And Rust-Oleum makes tons of spray paints. Conventional spray paints you can buy at your local do-it-yourself store, uh, like Arona, Home Depot, even Walmart. Um, <clears throat> and once I realized that, I've been using Rust-Oleum uh, painter such primers forever. I started looking at the different Rust-Oleum top coats, the top coats that you could buy in large format cans. And I came across one that is perfect for miniatures. So this has been tested by me. Again, if you do follow my advice or you decide to follow my recommendation and grab one, please, please, please test before you use always. I might have the perfect, I might have the, the genie in a bottle can that just works perfectly. Your humidity in your local region might cause it to not look great on miniatures. It's always test, test, test. But so far I've, I've tested some models here I painted today and they look great. So let's take a look at this can of Rustoleum Universal Clear Durable Top Coat as a replacement for Tester's Dull Coat. So here it is, the venerable Tester's Spray Lacquer Dull Coat that everyone knows and loves. And as you can see here, it is made by the Rustoleum Corporation. I learned that a few months ago, a few months back, that this was, um, Tester's had been, the formula was being made by them. And I was using their primer, so I was actually not surprised that something I liked and it was pretty high quality was, you know, made by a company that I was using their primers for. Now, this is what I came to. Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Clear Coat. Um, it's again Rust-Oleum, but this one's consumer brands. This one's made in Concord, Ontario. So I don't know if you'll get the exact same stuff outside of Canada, because, like I said, Concord, Ontario, made made differently. It's made in made in the United States, though. It says made in USA, um, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> again. Your mileage may vary. This might be the magical, the magical can that is just perfect. It's a tall boy. I think it was 11 bucks where I pay like eight or nine bucks for these. Um, and you're getting twice as much, 312 grams versus actually more than twice as much, 85 grams. It's almost three and a half times as much. Um, yeah, <laughs> for three bucks more. And these are the results. So I, I, I spray my code one minis. And I'm super happy with the result. It's a nice sort of like not too flat, flat finish. Um, it's basically the same reflectivity as the paint. It didn't harm the paint jobs at all. It didn't change the cut, like the saturation color. And it feels a little bit more durable. I'll be honest, like it, it has kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. Like maybe like a waxy feel to it, like a, a just a finished feel. Um, and for metal minis, especially these infinity minis, that's really, really, really encouraging. Uh, so yeah, I've done my whole winter for me this way. I didn't lose any of the richness in the detail. It didn't mat the colors down too much. Uh, and overall I am super happy with it. So, um, consider, consider me sold. Uh, people who are looking for a new spray or a new doll coat. Uh, this is the same company that makes Sester's doll coat. It's Rust-Oleum. Uh, and this universal advanced clear durable top coat, it dead flat is the, is the one I'm using here. But like I said before, try it out first, spray it on a test miniature. Do not, do not just go right out of the can. It, I don't know if it's just, I'm in the, the magic zone for this being great. <laughs> um, but if you are in, uh, in Ontario or Canada and you're looking for a, um, easy to find, uh, this is probably sold at Walmart. I mean, if it's Rust-Oleum and it's this, this nozzle style, it's probably sold everywhere from Canadian Tire to Walmart to Home Depot. Um, and it's absolutely available at Michael's cause that's where I got it. So, uh, yeah. 
So there it is, another another COVID-19 life hack, uh, replacing an old staple with a new staple. So you're on another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This time a great product from probably a, like an enormous company. <laughs> they make experiment that's like everywhere. So this isn't a, a typical Widgets and Wonders, but when I come across stuff like this, I like to share it with you guys. Um, just because this is a super readily available, easy to find and not expensive at all. Uh, alternative. Um, other things, uh, do let it dry for a good amount of time. If you haven't used this kind of stuff before, uh, make sure you test it and your mileage may vary. I don't, I can't promise this was great, but it was great for me and hopefully it'll be great for you if you manage to find a can and check it out. Um, so there you go, another Witch Wonders. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbed Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.